Hey guys, quick look here on the um, Chapman Ghost Fret. Um, this is the standard, you know, I guess, version or whatever. Um, didn't get off to a great start. Uh, the box, uh, I got this from Guitar Center. You know, they just recently added Chapman. Um, and the box, they, not any fault of Chapman, but Guitar Center shipped it in the box that... Um, that Chapman has it in. So it, it, it wasn't packed well at all. And to make things worse, I'm pretty sure it was like a return or something because um, the plastic on the pickups was gone. Uh, all the hang tags were ripped off and just shoved in the bag. Um, the white, you know, material that the guitars are wrapped in inside the bag was not on the guitar and was crammed in the box. Um, the gig bag was had crap all over it some kind of dirt looked like you know just crud i guess basically um and there were smudges and everything you know on the guitar front and back uh, it, it obviously had been played and, and probably just returned um and when i got it uh, when i got it out first thing i noticed was the high e was tucked underneath let's see what fret is it the um the 16th fret is so high that you can hook the E underneath the fret. You can actually get your fingernail under it and stuff. So um, that's not good. The fret work is terrible. To be quite honest, it's just terrible fret work. Um, which I kind of expected to, the fret work to not be that great, but I didn't expect it to be this bad from what I've heard You know, other people that have these are. Um, Either they don't know what good fretwork is, or maybe this is just just a lemon or something. But fretwork is, is, like I said, is really, really bad. The finish is actually pretty decent. I mean, it's a gloss finish, um, and it shows every smudge and fingerprint you can imagine. But it's, it's a, you know, it's definitely a cool looking guitar. Um, the bridge seems fine, actually. It's real solid. Uh, the, you know, the pots are not good, as you would expect. The switch is not good. Uh, the pickups are surprisingly bad. They they have no real character um, other than you know cheap. Um, one thing that it is uh, just irks me a little bit is the um, the strap buttons actually on the back, which I have heard some people have have mentioned. But in all the pictures, it shows it up here. I prefer it up here. I don't like when the strap buttons are on the back. It's the way the guitar wants to lean. Not a big deal though. If you know, if I want, I'll just add one there. Obviously, it doesn't have the tilt back headstock because it's the you know lower level, so it's got crappy uh, vintage kind of trees here. So I would replace those with you know Graph Tech uh, trees or something like that. The tuning keys, I, I, maybe I got fat fingers or something, but it's almost impossible to tune a string without hitting the the you know key of the one next to it. So it's, it's, you know, you gotta, you kind of have to go in kind of delicately to tune. Not a big deal. Um, like I said, it's, it's actually cool looking. Um, the veneers, it's, you know, it's a nice veneer. Um, it's, you know, obviously super thin. Um, but as far as, as far as tones go, there's really not even... If you run through a cleaner amp, you can really hear So, oh, I mean, other than, you know, looks, I think it looks cool. Um, but 
I would have to do a lot of work to it, you know, replace the electronics. The pickup's got to go. It, maybe I'm just used to, to higher quality humbuckers and stuff, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything super fancy in my guitars. It's usually, you know, Seymour Duncans or DiMarzio's or something. Nothing, you know, nothing uber fancy. It's just, these are just really cheap pickups. Some of the most lackluster that I've that I've ever heard. Um, looking for good points. Uh, the Graph Tech nut is nice. It seems to be cut pretty decent, actually. The bridge, I really like the bridge. It's smooth. It's comfortable. Um, like I said, the looks. I think it's a really cool looking guitar. The the smaller than normal size for this shape of guitar, um, I really dig. It's really it's pretty comfortable, actually. Um, the tuners are not good, but that's to be expected on on this but you know I I mean I hate to sound so negative but there's just so many things about this guitar that I just don't like um, and I, I've heard some other reviews of this and people are really really happy with them so maybe I got a lemon and, and this is just junker I mean like I said I think it was a return guitar from the condition it was sent to me in so possibly that's why it was returned because it's a lemon um, but I would have to do a fret job on this for sure. The, the tuners would have to go. Obviously, the trees, not a big deal there. Those are cheap. Um, basically, all the electronics would have to go because um, they're they're just they're just not not good quality. Um, and that's just too much work to put in a guitar like this. It's just easier just to you know just to get rid of it and move on. Um, I kind of got one of these to see. I was thinking about getting the the higher level ghost fret, but I thought, you know, let me let me check one of these out because I had heard good things about these, and I thought I'll at least know if I like the body shape, the body size, and stuff like that. Um, so I got one of these first. Um, so to be honest with you, that didn't really help me with my decision if I want to get one of the higher level, you know, Chapmans. Um, at this point, I think I'm going to probably pass. There's just and, and a lot of this could be Guitar Center's fault because it was it, it, it was packed so bad and, um, you know, the box had a hole in it, the gig bag. I wish I would have taken some pictures of just how cruddy it actually was before. I mean, there was definitely fingerprints all over front and back, so it had been played by somebody. And, but the thing is, whoever played it didn't try to set it up, obviously, because it was set up terribly. Action was... Uh, was not good. The neck is actually, yeah, it's got a little bow in it, but nothing, nothing that probably can't be fixed um, with, you know, the truss rod. Um, really? I, I don't know. I, it's probably best if I just walk away from this one, unfortunately, because I really like the look. Like I said, I you know, over and over again, I really like the looks of it. I think it's a cool looking guitar, but, you know, don't let don't let this dissuade you if if you know you have one of these and if, if you're happy with yours, that's great, man. And maybe you know, like I said, maybe I got a lemon, and maybe that's why it you know seemed to be a return. But um, I guess that's it for now, guys. Uh, sorry this wasn't a more in-depth video, but to be honest with you, I just kind of lost interest and I didn't really want to do a whole bunch of tones. Um, I'm just not happy with the guitar. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take it easy.